So we, we think that about 20,000 people a year are diagnosed with ITP in the country. So that, that sounds like a big number, but when you think about the fact that we have like 330 million people in the country, that's a small number. It's an uncommon bleeding disorder, so it's natural for people to uh, feel alone when they're diagnosed with ITP for a couple of reasons. One, it's not that common. And two, anything that kind of takes you out of your element or takes you off track can really make you feel isolated, make you want to be isolated for fear of people knowing about what's going on with you or not understanding what's going on or treating you differently if they knew. So it's a natural feeling, I think, when, when people are diagnosed to feel alone and isolated. You know, I think one of the biggest challenges is um, there, there is this underlying anxiety around ITP. Um, and that's because um, it's true that with a really low platelet count, there is a risk of bleeding. But thankfully, that risk is really low. Um, and the challenge really is to put that risk kind of into perspective. And so um, the, the beginning of the journey is, is really fear and anxiety. There's no doubt about that. Because besides the question of, is this cancer, which is pretty much the first question, the second one is, um, am I gonna bleed? And the challenge there also is that the doctors don't even have a very good answer to that either. So we do our best uh, to try to make sure that you know, those risks are, are known and real, but not blown out of proportion so that you, know, you could go on living your life. I hear it commonly. Frequently what they'll tell me is that I can almost tell when my platelet count is dropping because when I feel tired, it's generally associated with a lower platelet count. And they know this before they even check their platelet count, frequently before they even see any bruising or bleeding. I think it's really important to believe that what you're feeling is real, to tell your doctor about it, if your doctor says it's not true, um, you should feel confident that that is indeed real, that it's a symptom that you're experiencing, you know your own body, and that it's, it is appropriate to say, I want my platelet count checked when I feel this way. And to tell people that I know that this is a real thing and to not feel that, why am I imagining this? You're not imagining it. It's real and other people experience it as well.